I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. So, pretty blessing. You pretty much achieved uh, what a lot of people strive for in the fitness industry, right? You have a strong following. It continues to grow. And the question is, why you even want to compete? I mean, why, why do you feel like competing? And is, do you feel pressure from your supplement company? Are they pushing you to compete? Like, why, why compete? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The boogeyman don't leave. No, I don't leave on any other any other pressure. Uh, bodybuilding is my life. You know what I mean? Bodybuilding is... I think, I think I was born to be a bodybuilder. You know what I mean? And I love bodybuilding so much. My passion for bodybuilding is indescribable. You know what I mean? That's my, that's, that's my job. All this stuff that I'm doing, I'm just, I'm just having fun and just being myself and just, you know, just enjoying life. Bodybuilding is, is, is my, is, that's my game. You know what I mean? Ever, ever since day one, you know, because I did not come from, from like, uh, you know, I came from poverty, bro. Like the worst of the worst. You know what I mean? I came from a village. Yeah. You know what I mean? I came from yeah. a point where, you don't know when your next meal is going to be. You know what I mean? So, you know, escaping, not escaping, get, getting the opportunity to leave Nigeria and then move it to Ireland at so your young age. It's, that, was, that, was, that was everything. Because, like, where I came from, <laughs> you're not supposed to live like this, bro. You're like, it, 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 you just, there's no chance. There's no way out. That is no way out. You know what I mean? But I was lucky. I was, I'm one of the lucky ones that make it out. You know, so again, the opportunity, I would never blow it. You know, and the minute I discovered bodybuilding, the minute I discovered that I've got what it takes to make it to the top, I want to be the best. You know what I mean? And that, and that motivation is, is, again, it's the fact that I came from you know, I came from the mud. I want to help my family out. You know? Yeah, of course. I'm the last born in my in my in my family. I feel like I'm the last chance mm. to give my to give my family, you know, that life that they never that they've never dreamed of. You know what I mean? And when I found bodybuilding, my goal is to be one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. You know what I mean? And People would look at me and see what I post on social media, you know, like, you know, all the, all the, not people talk, people be talking all kinds of crazy on social media. Now they're calling me a Instagram bodybuilder. I'm just, I'm just mm -hmm. waiting, bro. I'm just, I, cause people think I'm all joke. They think I'm all joke. You know what I mean? You've been planning your pro debut for a while though, right? Cause yeah, I've been planning. Like, yeah. I've been planning my pro debut. Uh, no, 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 no. I was supposed to compete last year. Last year was the that was the plan. I my original. When you got your was, pro card, blessing. When you get when you get your. Pro I got card? my pro card in twenty seventeen. So like yeah, I, I got it mul multiple times. Oh, you did. That year I did like uh, maybe six shows. I won them all. I won all the overalls. Traveling all over Europe. Uh, I won the the Arnold Classic Arnold Classic Europe as well. I won the overall there. Got pro card there as well. And my goal was to give three years off just to work on my frame because I'm a tall guy. Well, for bodybuilding, I'm 5'11". Uh -huh. So I needed more meat. I need to get a lot more thicker, you know, to, to put more meat on the overall frame. And the goal was to step on stage in 2020. Uh -huh. But then the corona eat, I'm like, of course, when I, Aaron wanted me to compete, you know, like Aaron wanted me to compete in 2019. I'm like, yo, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You know, I've got to be ready, you know? And um, I feel this is the, this, this is the time, you know, the time is now. You know what I mean? And um, the, the, with the coronavirus happening, I feel like it's a blessing in disguise, you know, because, you know, I was working with somebody that would never get me anywhere. And then because after all they handed, I was able to, Aaron, Aaron linked me with Chad. And That's since Chad Nichols, me, Chad, the coach, Chad Nichols, right? Yeah, Chad Nichols. Oh, and since me and Chad started working, oh my God, bro, it's like the progress progress is crazy you know mm -hmm. so bodybuilding bodybuilding for me is, is everything bodybuilding that's my life right there that's that's it's everything to me do you feel like you're going to Olympia one day 100 100 i feel like what uh 
the masterpiece that I'm working on, I feel like it's a little different to what's out there right now. You know, and I feel like uh, I feel like the fans will appreciate it. You know, absolutely. I feel like, and it's I all about like the, with me. It's all about defense. It's all about defense. My number one goal is to win the fans. Once I win the fans over to my side, everything else is easy. Mm -hmm. I feel like your debut is probably the most highly anticipated debut in a while in bodybuilding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. My my goal is to change bodybuilding. People don't believe that's possible, but my goal is change is to change bodybuilding. I'm bringing this type of energy that uh, it's <laughs> the energy I'm bringing is, is, is crazy. It's different. It's exciting. You know what I mean? Whether they like me or not, we are going to change the sport. So when is your debut? When are you going to step on the stage for the first time as a pro? The, my first show is the Indie Pro. Which one is it? Indie Pro. It's yeah. a week before the New York Pro. That's going to be your, that's going to be your, your, uh, is it, what, what, city, what, what city is that going to be in? To be honest, I don't know. Uh, I'm still thinking there's a possible chance of that show might get canceled. Right, right, right. You know? But, you know, if you get canceled, it's New York Pro, you know? So I've got... I thought your Pro is going to be, I thought your Pro is going to be your, your Pro debut. That's what I thought originally. You thought New York Pro. Nah, I, I, I really want to do the Indie Pro. 